This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation, specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. The recycling thresholds are important when we're talking about application pools and when we recycle and when we don't recycle. Now, we can get garner a lot of information about the application pool itself. So, we have the application pool name, we have the process ID, that's pretty obvious. But the state, is it starting, is it running, is it stopped, and what percentage of the CPU is it using? So with Task Manager, we can go in there and we can say, okay, this one worker process is taking up a lot of the percentage of the CPU. So we can spot check and find out what kind of load this particular application pool has on our CPU. And then we have two other things. That's the private bytes and the virtual bytes. Now it uses two different types of memory, private memory and virtual memory. So the private bytes is the amount of memory committed to the processes. And the virtual bytes is the size of the virtual address space. So what we're looking at here is how large are we gonna let this application pool grow before we recycle it and get it back to some kind of manageable size, basically. We don't want it to keep growing and taking up our memory. And lastly, recycling is configured in WAS and it can be used for non-web applications. So what we do with these recycling is you don't necessarily have to have a web application if it uses the application pool to recycle. Those are some of the considerations we have for recycling application pools in IIS 7.5.